What's up, my mobile detailing people? It's Wayne back again with another detailing video. In this video, I wanna talk about the steps I take to exiting, leaving to my next client, checking over a vehicle to make sure I got everything, everything speak and span. This is a maintenance vehicle right here, this Mercedes. And uh, we just finished the maintenance detail. It takes us about an hour to an hour and 30 sometimes, depending on how long the maintenance. This one here, it's been about a month, the rainy season, it's been messing up the the, you know the reoccurring details so it's a little bit more dirtier than usual oh i want to know down below do you guys charge more if they come back with excessively dirty vehicle or do you guys keep the same maintenance price my price is 85 to 100 85 sedans 100 for anything bigger for my maintenance package all right so i gotta make it to my next detail so let's go over this real briefly you guys what i like to do is i like to touch up my rims a lot of people i ride with some detailers and I noticed that they just wash their rims and that's it. They let them air dry, they don't go over them again. Me, I like to double check and go over everything. And this right here is a uh, paint gloss. And I like to go over a paint gloss, bead maker, any type of uh, exterior, um, exterior uh, drying aid, protection. I put it on the rims also. So that's what I do. I go over all the rims then I look over the whole body. So I normally have another towel and I also use this for the paint to touch up any smudges, any smearing, and I go over the whole thing. Look for any bugs. Touch up the rims, bam, bam, bam. Go over the whole vehicle. And then I open the doors, recheck the door seals. Just like that. I normally spray this also, but I already did it. Check each one, all four. Ah, I'll check to make sure there's nothing under the seats that have been blew in. Check in between everything, check the windows. As I go, make sure there's no smudges. I triple check. I know a lot of people that they don't, they don't do that. I triple check. And sometimes they get a little overwhelmed with me like, hey bro, you gonna check over my work again? It's like no offense to a detailer that comes in that's very experienced. I still go over their work. We still miss stuff, you know what I mean? You may go out with a dope person that really knows what they're doing and catch them slipping too. And they hold me to a higher standard when people come and ride with me. So when they find something, they get excited. Ha, ah, look what you, look, look, look what you. Hey, I'm human just like you, you know what I mean? But let's see. Okay, and then when you're done checking, do you let the customer know? Do you have them come out? Do you send them pictures? What's your process? Okay. So after I check everything and I'm official, um, I'll text them, let them know I'm done, and I'll even have them walk over the vehicle. So I check over the vehicle two times. Check over everything. I have uh, whoever's working with me check over it. Call the, uh, the person to come out, they'll check over it. So we got multiple checks going to make sure we're official. But that's pretty much um, how I do it. It's pretty simple, nothing over, over the top. Just make sure you have a detailer's eye and uh, don't focus on, if you focus on just money, that's when you start missing stuff. Um, sometimes the maintenance, you ain't making much and you end up being out there for two hours. You know what I mean? Just focus on the relationships, focus on serving that person. You know what I mean? As a believer in Christ, that's what we're here to do. We're here to serve. So no matter what you're doing, you serving somebody, man. Hey, Wayne, so let's say you check, everything's good, but then you have a call from the customer saying, hey, you missed this spot. Or hey, you know, you didn't touch up this or that. Got you. Has that ever happened and what do you do about it? It has happened. Um, there's multiple things you could do. For one, you can give them a discount. Um, I've also give given a free free uh, maintenance service. Like, hey, when I come out next time, it'll be free. Like, my employees went out one day, and they said, hey, when you came, you did an amazing job that time. But when they came, they didn't do as amazing as you did. You know, maybe they were off their game. You know, who knows? So I said, hey, the next service I come, um, I'll take care of you for free. And you know, he's still around and he's gotten me more business. His family is starting to book and do reoccurring. So I bit that bullet right there and I got blessed in the long run. So don't take it as a loss, take it as a learning lesson. You know what I mean? When they find stuff or something goes wrong, just take it as a learning lesson. And when it happens with me, I check over it excessively after that point and I increase, you know what I mean? So yeah. All right, that's a wrap, you guys. That's how I go over the vehicle. It's simple. Just do your job. You gotta have that detailer's eye and some people just don't got it. Sadly, I brought multiple people out and you show them over and over, hey, when you vacuum, you're missing this, this, and this. 
week goes by, hey, when you're vacuuming, you're doing this. Some people, they just don't see it. You know what I mean? They, they don't got it. They're car washes. You know what I mean? Some people, they say, hey, anybody could do this. No, you can't. A lot of people don't have the time, the patience. It's just, you don't got it, man. Hey, but we got it, right? Stay encouraged, stay motivated. Y'all stay tuned for the next video. And uh, put God first, you guys. As I say, as usual, make sure you're saying your prayers. Make sure you repent. Kingdom of heaven is at hand. Hey, God is coming back. Stay tuned, stay ready. Let's go.